Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Locum23. Joining me for Choices of the Stories you play, Freshman, Book 1, Chapter 14, The Ashton Affair. Moments ago. Is this a girl you wanted us to meet? Yeah, this is her. One of your classmates, darling? Actually, she's my fiance. What? James shoots you at pleading. Look. Play along, fumble, stutter, play along. Sorry, James, I, I didn't realize you'd already told them about our engagement. I'm Mizumi. It's nice to meet you. George Ashton, and this is my wife, Olivia. A pleasure. Mr. Ashton shakes your hand. Miss Ashton gives you a polite nod. They glance at Vasquez. And who's this? I... I'm going. <laughs> James looks to you at a loss. You clear your throat and step forward. Um, allow me to introduce my professor, my grandfather, <laughs> my yoga instructor. Oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> Yes, Professor Vasquez, yoga instructor. I must be going. I'm not in my element of all of these books. Um, <laughs> I'm going to introduce my professor. I'm his assistant. This is Professor... Vega. Professor Vega. He teaches business economics at Harfeld. Uh, that is, uh, me. How do you do? Vasquez holds out a hand, which Mr. Ashton heartedly takes... Well, Professor, Hartfield's business program is renowned. Must congratulate you on your sterling reputation. Yes, thank you. Ahem. Well, as pleasant as this is, I have some uh, economics papers to go grade. Right, well, we'll be on our way shortly then. Mr. and Mrs. Ashton turns to you. Mizumi, we'd love to get to know you better while you're in town. Yes, why don't you join us for dinner tonight? You don't have to do that. Besides, I'm sure she's very busy. Nonsense, James. She's going to be part of the family after all. We insist. Alright. Perfect. We'll meet at uh, the Savory at 6 o'clock shop. After Mr. and Mrs. Ashton leave... So, are you going to tell me why your parents think we're engaged? It's a little complicated. I can't wait to hear it. James looks from you to Professor Vasquez. Vasquez who busies himself with papers on his desk. My parents want me to major in business. To inherit my father's investment company. To marry the right woman. Wow. You are so screwed. <laughs> That must have been a lot of pressure on you. It was, until I decided to pursue my own path. Let me guess. You haven't told them you're still single and studying literature? No, I haven't. First, if they knew I was single, they'd pressure me to date some well-connected girl they've hand-selected. That doesn't sound so bad. I've never liked anyone they've picked before. Oh. And secondly, they wouldn't understand why I want to be a writer. Isn't it hard to keep that a secret? It's what you love. It's not easy, but I have to stick with it, at least until I finish my play. Will you help me out? Behind you, Professor Vasquez clears his throat. <clears throat> I strongly believe she should. This is an excellent opportunity for you, Mizumi. You mean, for you. I never said it wasn't eh, mutually beneficial. Go to dinner with Mr. and Mrs. Ashton and tell me all about it in 30 pages or more. <laughs> I'm serious, that's what I expect. Hmm. If Vasquez says I have to, I would be honored to be James's fake fiance. Thanks, Mizumi. I'll pick you up at 5 30. You turn to leave. And Mizumi, if you're having dinner this way, I suggest you dress for the occasion. 
I'll work on it. You gonna pay, Professor? You gonna do that? You gonna give good? Give me the diamonds. Back in the dorms, you find Zack in your room. Zack, put down my toy box. <laughs> There she is! I got all your texts and read them twice. You and James engaged? You move fast! I hope I'm invited to the wedding. Ha ha, Zach. Can we stop thinking about the I do and focus more on the I wear? I guess there was a point to me wearing that outfit after all, huh? More flowery, kind of... I don't think I have an outfit that will impress a pair of very sophisticated, fancy people. Not to mention James, right? Well, I suppose he will be at the dinner, too. Apparently, Zack didn't get the memo that me and Caitlin hooked up in the last chapter. Hey, don't worry. I've already called a friend of mine. She works in an upscale boutique and can get you the perfect dress. I know this dinner will go much better if I dress up. Oh, Lord Jesus, what the hell? What the hell is this? Back when freshmen didn't even name their dresses and gave you tiny little things to zoom in on. Except I can't zoom in. Um, that looks very Native American. Alright, so let's let's get up closer. It looks very Native American, very flowery, something kinda like what we were wearing. Flower esque. Um Well that's not too bad. <laughs> something I don't I don't I don't know. I honestly don't know how rich people dress, so um, <clears throat> this is all about diamonds, choices, and no offense, but I think I'm going to go with the black. I love little black dresses, and I like that instead of the the, the bright and colorful. Eh. A little later, you walk in front of your mirror wearing the perfect dress. Zach, I love this look. Me too. It says, look how perfect and sophisticated I am for your brilliant son. That's what I was going for. Where's this designer we're supposed to meet? She just... She's kind of like a ghost. She just passes through walls. At 5.30, James arrives at your door with a... Bank... Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna lose my mind now. Bouquet of roses. What are these for? I could not pronounce that word for a minute there. My brain took a complete fart. Can I do something nice for my fiancé? Hmm... Sir, thank you for agreeing to do this for me. They're beautiful. So are you. Er, that is to say, you look very nice. James likes your outfit. Looking fine! James, was that a compliment? It was an observation. Come on, admit it. You wish we were engaged for real? You think I'm pretty? I think... Yes. That anyone who looks at you will agree you're breathtaking. Myself included. And I'm sure my parents will be very impressed. Aww, James had a compliment. He holds out his arm. Shall we go? Downtown, you and James walk towards the restaurant. I should probably warn you that my parents will try to intimidate you since we're engaged. Don't worry about me. I can handle myself, but we should probably get our story straight. What do they know about me? Very little. They know I proposed last week after we've been dating a year, and that we met at a meet and greet for future business leaders. So, I'm a business major. Yes, and you take your career very seriously. You're even in the Sherman Jones Fellowship Program this summer. I take that some super fancy fellowship for business people? Very astute. You're talking to a future CEO, after all. What about my family, my hobbies, skeletons in my closet? I didn't elaborate, so it's up to you. Don't go overboard. Too late. I've already got it. My family's rich. I like golf. And my dark family secret is that my crazy mother lives in the attic. <laughs> my family pays people off not to talk about my incestuous twin siblings. I killed a man when I was 15. What the hell, Pixelberry? And now that I'm looking at this, it's like, my father pays people off not to talk about my incestuous twin siblings. 
Someone's been watching a lot of hentai. <laughs> um, I killed a man when I was 15. My, my crazy mother. Let's go with crazy mother lives in the attic. I appreciate how brawnic that is. But now I'm nervous. I'm joking. Don't worry, I'll stick to the script. I'll be the best fake fiance ever. I'm holding you to it. He smiles at you and moves a little closer, and your phone buzzes. Sorry, I should get this. You have your person rifle through it, searching for your phone. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Did you ever hear back from Vasquez's daughter? Nope, I sent her a text yesterday to follow up, but there's still no answer. I don't think she's going to talk to me. Ah, here it is. Pull out your phone and glance at it. It's Caitlin. I can get it later. No, please, I'll leave you to it. James walks a few paces in front of you. You quickly pick up. Caitlin? Hey, Mizumi! I've been thinking about you all day. You have? Trust me, I'm never gonna get forget how amazing last night was, which brings me to my next question. What are you up to tonight? Oh, um... I have a dinner thing tonight? Uh, maybe tomorrow? Oh. Okay, I'll talk to you later then, and I'll think about you all night. Excuse me while I go to my room. <laughs> you hang up and catch up with James. Everything alright? Yeah, Caitlin's just seeing what my plans are tonight. Is she feeling better? What do you end up doing since she got out back from the hospital? James? You would you I know you'd love to know as a man, but um Nothing? Nothing. No, no, yeah, nothing much. A horror movie marathon. Then you think back to last night in your bedroom and blush. Bed. We we all went to, to bed. It was a nice end to a, a crazy weekend. I'm glad for her. And for you. For me? Yeah, you were really upset at the hospital. You must care about her a lot. Oh, I, I do. Caitlin is uh, very special to me. Oh, I see. James, smack it off your face. Come on, man. Focus. She's very lucky, then. You and James round the corner and approach the Savoy. All right, here's the restaurant. James reaches for the door. Are you ready for din sir? dinner, fiancé? After you, fiancé. Fiance or fiancé? I think it's fiancé regardless, but I think there's two, yeah, with the double E and then the single E, I think it's just, I think you would just pronounce it somehow, some way, it's just a touch different. Take a deep breath, James ushers you inside. Inside the restaurant, a maitre d' leads you to the table in the back. James turns to you. I hope you don't mind. James puts his arm around your waist and pulls you close. For appearance's sake. I saw that grin, James. You want us to look like a couple, huh? Maybe you should move your hand a little higher. Wah, wah, lower. Well, where's his hand now? <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm going to hell. I mean, if it's in the middle of the back, wouldn't it be lower? Uh, as tempting as that sounds, I don't think I should do that right now. But I'll keep that in mind for later. James keeps his hand firmly on your waist as you arrive at the Ashton Stable. Right on time, you... Oh, wow. Brain fart! Right on time, you two. I've already ordered some wine to start. I have to say, Mizumi, that dress is lovely. Thank you. It reminds me of Paris. Did you live there? Yes, many years ago, when I was a model. 
my first shoot was there actually. I posed under the Eiffel Tower in a dress much like yours, with a picnic basket and a very handsome man. It was simply magical. It sounds like it. Olivia, del Olivia delicately clears her throat and gives you a small smile. <clears throat> James, it seems your fiancé has some taste. She chose me, didn't she? That I did. Anyway, it's great you two could come out tonight. That's right. We couldn't believe it when James told us he was engaged. Now, now, don't mind Olivia. She hoped to introduce James to another girl. Not just any girl. Vanessa Kingsley. Mother, please. I... It's all right, James. I'm willing to meet your Mizumi. That's what tonight is all about, isn't it? This is our chance to get to know her. Tell me, how did you and James meet again? James and I met through a meet and greet. James was the first person I introduced myself to at a meeting for business majors. I don't think I talked to anyone else that night. Me either. Unless James' hand reach for yours. And you? Look at your menu, sip your wine, hold James's hand. Cuss James' hand and smile at him. James smiles back. It was the best night of my life. You can say that again. Miss Ashton clears her throat. So, Mizumi, both you and my son tend to major in business. As my husband can tell you, it can be a hard path to distinguish yourself in. The road to greatness is never easy. I agree. I take my career very seriously. Sherman Jones. I assume you're aware of it. That's an excellent program and competitive to get into. I want to be the best, and I'm not going to let anything get in my way. I wish my son was that determined. I'm expecting him to take over the company that I've run for the last 30 years. You know, I built that up from nothing. I wouldn't have been able to do that without my ambition. But James has never shown any initiative. That's not true. Then how come you turned down an internship at Kingsley's company last summer? It wasn't the right opportunity. It was the perfect opportunity! George, let's not get into this now. James will fall in line. I have something far more important to ask. What is it? You two have only been dating for a year? Why the rush to get married? Because we're in love. That's sweet, but are you certain there's no other reason you're interested in our son? What are you implying? James isn't Ashton, and someone with our reputation can't associate with just anyone. Ooh, rich and fancy people. I mean, what? <laughs> I merely want to make an ambitious girl like yourself isn't in it for to take advantage of James's position. Mizumi isn't like that. James, I've got this. Do you really think I'm the only marrying James for his name? You don't give him enough credit. James is wonderful. He's articulate, well-dressed. Articulate. Words just come right out of his mouth. Mizumi, you don't have to do this. I'm not done. James is also smart. He's witty and insightful. Not only that, but he's hardworking. He doesn't give up until he's finished something and done it well. And that's only part of the reason I like him. He's not my... He's not only my fiancé, but my friend. I know that he'll disagree with me when I'm wrong, and that he's got my back when I need him. I respect him a great deal. That's why I want to marry him. For a moment, no one says anything. Mr. and Mrs. Ashton look taken aback. Uh, I rest my case? It's alright, dear. You don't have to defend yourself further. Really? You are one 
Oh, God. Oh, I got a brain aneurysm right now. Oh, I'm allergic to idiocy and ignorance. Uh, in fact, I'm mildly impressed. Uh, thanks. And it's clear you care about our son. Of course I do. As for me, I hope he doesn't disappoint you. Oh, you guys don't get it yet, do you? I've yet to see him work hard when it comes to his career. That's not true. It's just not business that I'm interested in. What? What do you mean by that? James, what are you doing? God damn it, James, you couldn't keep your shit shut. <laughs> you were right, Mizumi. I don't know how long I can keep this up, but after hearing what you said about me, let's just say you inspired me. Mom, Dad, I have no intention of taking over the family fern. What? I'm gonna be a writer. That's what I've been working towards my entire school career. I didn't take the internship at Kingsley Firm because I chose to work directly with Enrique Vasquez. The author? You turned down a job to write? That's so preposterous I can barely speak, and yet you somehow all speaking. <laughs> James, I don't understand why you've changed your mind. Did Mizumi put you up to this? No, not at all. In fact, Mizumi's not my fiance. I knew it. She... Mizumi did nothing wrong. I'm just tired of you trying to push the right job and the right girl on me. The two of you may not be actually engaged, but I can tell something's going on between you two. Are you romantically involved? Ah, uh, uh... James looks to you, at a loss for words. Well, this has gotten awkward. I'm gonna go. No? See, uh, ma'am, Mrs. Ashton, uh, allow me to say, uh, la last night something else was on the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it was not James. You rush outside, cheeks burning. You've pulled out your phone to text a friend when James runs up to you. Mizumi, wait. Can I walk you home at least? Don't you have to deal with your parents? And just to think we spent 20 some diamonds on a dress that we wore for like five minutes. Mm. Good job, Pixelberry. Mm -hmm. yeah. They can wait. It's probably better I give them time to uh, reflect. That's nice of you, but it's fine, James. The night's over. I'm not your fiancé, and we don't need to pretend. We can even go back to not liking each other like normal. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't want that. The thing is, Mizumi, I do like you. Perhaps as more than friends. He takes your hand, his guy, gaze meeting yours, eyes searching your face. <sighs> James, I, I like you too, I don't know what to say. It's just, well, I'm kind of in the Caitlin. Suddenly, your phone starts ringing. You gasp when you see the caller ID. I can't believe it. Uh, Mizumi, who is it? It's Gabriella. So everyone, see, this is what I'm talking about. Everyone's like, well, please, why don't you make book one, you know? And you could do one about James and Chris and Caitlin, and that was my intent. And then it's like. There's no way to stare it, you see, folks? There's no... I mean, all the diamond options are literally laid out flat. And that's where freshmen, when when they first started freshmen, that's where they took this. Now, a freshman book, too, is more like you started out literally the book with who do you actually like? And then you progressed your relationships further. That's why I'm thinking book one's just going to be regular book one, and book two will then be Caitlin, Chris, or James. And we'll go towards you know, relationships with those in different times. I'm not gonna, I'm just leaving this out for you now. For those who are watching, I am not gonna do back to back. I, I, you know, I know you all want that. You want the Caitlyn, then you're like, I want James because I love James. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. 
the repetitiveness, it's going to have to be a break. It's going to have to be like freshman, then endless summer, and then back to freshman, and then, you know, on to something else, and then back to freshman. To get, I mean, playing it back to back, doing everything, and then there's about 60% of the story that will remain the same. I mean, that's, that's, it's literally the definition of insanity, you know? So I got at least. You know, spread it out. You know, got to spread the love out to endless summer people, roles of engagement. So I got to do that too. So keep that in mind. But we're still working up there. Let's see, this is 14, I believe. We have just a couple more chapters, and then we're done officially with book one. So stay tuned for that. And until then, remember to like and share. Also, head down to the description where you can find my social media you can follow or support my channel with the two links involved in there. And until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.